In this example, we'll be using the z-score of two different pieces of data to relate their position to the mean. So in this example, we have two students competing in a nationwide mathematics competition and receive the following scores. We have Alma who received the score of 70 and Bruce received the score of 80. It says if mu, or the mean for this uh, exam, was 66 and the standard deviation is 10, we need to find their z-score. So recall that we calculate z-score using the following formula z is equal to the data point, which we denote as x, minus the mean, which we call mu, divided by the standard deviation, which we call sigma. And the lower an item's z-score, the closer that item is, or that data point is, to the mean of the data. So for Alma, her z-score I would find that by saying that her score is 70, so that's the data point I'm interested in. I would subtract off the mean and divide it by the standard deviation. So for Alma, I would have 4 divided by 10, which would give me a z score of 0.4. Now that tells me two things. That tells me that Alma is less than one standard deviation above the mean and it also tells me she's above because it is a positive 0.4 so positive values again indicate locations above the mean in the standardized normal distribution so we have the standardized normal distribution here there's mu alma would lie to this side because alma has a positive z-score if she had a negative z-score that would mean she was below it also tells me she's really close. If I look at Bruce, Bruce's mark was 80, so that's the data point I'm interested in. I'm going to subtract off the mean, which is 66, and divide it by, again, the standard deviation of 10, and that gives me 14 over 10, so Bruce has a z-score of 1.4. And what that tells me is that Bruce is farther away from the mean. So Bruce is 1.4 standard deviations above the mean, where Alma was only 0.4. So if I had to answer a question about who did better in relation to their peers, the answer to this would be Bruce. Because Bruce falls in a higher percentile, meaning he's farther to the right on this standardized normal distribution curve. So Bruce would have achieved higher on the test, which we can see from his score, but in relation to his peers, he also did better as well.